<laughs> world peace. Welcome to World Peace in the Morning. I'm your host, Darius A. Stanton, and I'm here with the incomparable Lady Karan. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Peace and love. So listen, we are so excited. Happy Monday. Happy fun day. We left, as a matter of fact, we're Funky Friday. We had a good time, so we hope that you had a Funky Friday because now it's time for a Monday, and we're going to separate that Monday from having a weekday all day. And the reason why I say that is because we want to celebrate today the reason why we are all here. The reason why we are all here is because of our mothers. And so the question is, why in the world, why in the world will we only celebrate Mother's Day one day out of the year? Just one day. Just think, mothers carry us for at least six or seven months. And in some cases, nine months. And if you're real stubborn and want to stick around for a long time or don't come out, you might even be there close to 10 months, nine and a half months. And they have to actually come take you and snatch you out of there. So, Lady Karan, I thought, we thought, it'd be a good idea to celebrate mothers, not just on the traditional one day that's coming up on Sunday, but to celebrate mothers all week long here on the Peace in the Morning Show. What do you think about that? I think that is a phenomenal idea. Uh, I, I echo what you just said. So oftentimes we, we forget what women really give to us and what they contribute to our lives. And uh, I agree. We go through a whole lot from childbearing, monthly cycles, cramps, and all that stuff that Eve gave us. So, yes, we need to be honored more than just one day. But, you know, here, go, here I go again, 365 days a year. 365. And you're a mother, correct? I am a mother. My son is 27 years old. All right. Well, happy Mother's Week to you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Week to all the mothers out there that's listening to us and viewing us. No doubt about it. So, you know, we're really excited about Mother's Day. The song that you heard, World Peace, was by none other than my mother, Queen Aya um, and Earth Blessings Royal Court Orchestra, recorded live in Kingston, Jamaica, and uh, excited about just the, the power and the passion. I would not be here, of course, if it were not for my mother, Absolutely. Uh, the queen who has instilled so much in me. Um, we are best of friends, tight as butter, and uh, we, we say we love each other too much. We love each other There's too no much. Thing, no such thing. You know, we just love each other so much. So to my mom, happy Mother's Week. And my mom, I believe, will be joining us tomorrow um, live right here uh, with Peace in the Morning show. So she'll be calling in and joining us. And so you'll hear more of her music throughout the day since we're celebrating Mother's Day. We'll be bringing the queen on Peace in the Morning. Excited about having the queen with us. Also, a shout out to your wife who has birthed your beautiful children as well. Without question. Uh, my beautiful wife who just drove with me from Connecticut as we watched our beautiful, what do you call a dude dating your daughter for five years? Uh, your daughter's boyfriend. There you go, daughter's <laughs> boyfriend. Okay, there you go, there you go. Uh, so Mr. Paul Singleton, who just graduated from the University of Connecticut with his master's in awesome. uh, counseling, uh, psychology, awesome. Awesome. on his way to a doctoral program. Awesome. They just, as a matter of fact, um, announced that he'll be uh, pursuing his doctorate and a fellowship at University of Connecticut. So we're real excited about the fact that this brother is pursuing academics uh, and higher education. And uh, in particular, uh, he's an African-American male. And you know we don't have many African-American males in education. That's right. That's a uh, shout-out to you and your, your family, your, your daughter's boyfriend. And no your doubt. Daughter. No she's doubt. Got a, she's got a good one. Uh, real quick shout-out to those on Facebook Live. Swipe. Invite your friends to join us here at uh, E Live Media. And That's you can right. also join us online as well. That's right. And give us a call at 240-455-5934 if you want to shout out to your mom, your grandma, anybody that you think uh, you want to just give a shout out to for being just a dynamic mother because we're going to be talking about mothers all week long. All week long. Awesome. So listen, in addition to, uh, you know, mothers, uh, there's a proud mom in France today because there's a new president elected uh, in France, Emmanuel Macron. Macron who is the youngest president and youngest leader in France since Napoleon. Wow. Uh, the young man is 35 years old, 39 years old. Um, and his wife, which was a big deal, made him news all around the world, wasn't that big of a deal in France, actually was a school teacher. 
and uh, is now they is at least in her 60s. So you know, shout out to those who are you know having uh, big gap marriages. Uh, you know, and so we're excited you know for him and his presidential election. Uh, he did win over uh, Marine Le Pen, who was the nationalist candidate, more of a Trump kind of candidate. Uh, I'd say more on the conservative side. Uh, definitely in the nationalist movement, they are not uh, for immigration. Uh, they are not for really uh, connecting with others. They really want to go back to what was uh, the control of the majority. And so um, the liberal world is excited about the fact that Macron won. Uh, President Obama actually did a uh, endorsement on television in France. Uh, for President Mac now President elect uh, Macron, who uh, ran with neither major party, that's another big story here. Mm. Uh, he did not run on any major party. He was virtually an independent. Wow, uh, a tech guy, um, and uh, not a whole lot of wealth. You know, he's they compared him to almost the current president. I mean, the mayor in um, in New York right now, um, in terms of just doesn't have that kind of money. You know, uh, maybe even like a Bloomberg, but not that kind of money. You know, he's not a very rich guy, but he's um, very energetic and he's a, they call him a centralist. You know, he's been able to bring people together. And France has a lot of challenges. You know, yeah. France, um, they've been dealing with a lot of terror, uh, but France has wreaked a lot of havoc on the world. You know, people don't really talk about that. Um, they have still something in place called a colonization tax where they actually tax uh, African nations whom were colonized by the French. And uh, those nations are expected to pay the French back for creating their infrastructure. Mm. You know, um, there's some serious pieces out there. There's a TED Talk we'll be sharing at another time. We delve a little deeper into France uh, that talks about France, France's dependency still on the continent of Africa. And um, the fact that if... Africa was not supporting and really doing what it's doing in terms of its growing economy, then Europe and France itself would be in a real bad, you know, situation, worse than they're currently in, and they're already in, you know, fi financial straits. So uh, congratulations to President Macron. He's yes. got a real challenge on his hands um, in terms of continuing to move uh, his country forward. One of the other things about that election, although she lost, Le Pen did, was able to secure a third of the vote. So, you know, the, the, the notion that um, that the nationalist movement is still alive, uh, and again, as I said, in some cases, these are parties that are still tied, uh, folks that are still tied to thoughts or, or ideology like Nazis. Right. You know, um, and that's, that's an extreme case or, or comparison, but, you know, the research is out there. You can look it up yourself. So, Lady Karan, you know, um, we also got to bring the magic ball to the table, uh, as you know. Nice ball. You know, I'm excited. Uh, this is m my official game ball at, that I attended uh, when I attended game three uh, at the, that's right, you can touch wow. that, Washington Wizards Hardwood Classic, I'm calling it. Uh, the official piece in the morning D.C. Wizards ball. Uh, we got a caller already this morning. Uh, let's see if we can see who's calling in to talk about Mother's Day, President LaCroix, or are you calling to talk about the Wizards winning the 2-2. Good morning. Welcome to Peace in the Morning. All right. Well, we're excited. Thank you so much for calling us, and we trust that you're safe. We're going to keep it moving. So the Wizards won. Uh, the series is now tied 2-2. 2-2. Two to two. Two to two. Uh, they beat Boston, <laughs> as you know. Uh, so we're excited, you know, that, that they were able to pull that win off. And in grand fashion, I think at one point we ran off 20 straight points, you know, with no answer. Uh, so we are really in a, in, a, in a good shape going back to Boston. Now where it's 2-2. And um, we've been winning, you know, three quarters of every game. And so for us to be able to, to now be able to close, I'm really excited about it. Woo, shout out to the Wizards. Shout out to the Wizards, and we will keep our magic ball on point uh, for everybody to see. Just in case you're not a Wizards fan, maybe this ball will help you come into the fold. <laughs> come into the fold. And one thing, uh, Darius, while we're talking about um, the Wizards, of course, and uh, all that's happening in the world, 
uh, as Darius mentioned earlier, if you're listening to us, invite your friends to listen to us as well and to call in and share your thoughts around uh, the new French president, uh, to share your thoughts around, of course, the Wizards being uh, winning right now. And call us at 240-455-5934. That's 240-445. 455-5934. We want to hear from you, especially around your mother, uh, because this is a whole week about Mother's and Mother's Day. That's right. I, as a matter of fact, um, you know, since we decided to do a big Mother's Day week, uh, I think, you know, tomorrow we should have some flowers in the studio, wow. you know, all decorated, especially for the mothers on board. You know, and we've got a lot of mothers that are tied, you know, to the Peace in the Morning show. And, uh, you know, we wouldn't be here without our mothers. We're going to do a special show on grandmothers. You know, you can't do without grandmoms. Everybody loves grandma. You know, when we speak to audiences, one of the things that we often talk about up front to get young people's attention is how many people in here love their grandmothers? That's an automatic winner. 99% of people want to love and support their grandmoms, right. you know. Uh, and so right away you get, you know, get their attention. And so I think it's important, you know, for us to be able to, to highlight and really, you know, thank some grandmothers or the mothers. Right. You know, for various reasons. Their, their daughters may be, you know, deceased or um, some other challenging situations, may have multiple children, just all kinds of reasons. Um, and, you know, one of the things I think when you look back in history with regard to mothers is the fact that, um, you know, historically moms – had children, you know, family started younger. Yes. You know, and it was the whole family that the helped. Village. The village that helped yes. to raise the mom and the dad as new parents. Yes. So moms weren't just left out there, you know, to fend for themselves. And so uh, we definitely want to, you know, talk about the village um, in the week. And then we, you know, want to talk about, you know, what, what's called, I say, stepmoms, you know, um, the moms that just step in. You know, to really help out and just are there and, and part of a part of our lives. Uh, and also, you know, we want to talk about single moms. Absolutely. I was a single mother. There you go. Um, also, you know, a part of my life, a product, you know, my parents married very young, okay. uh, right out of high school. And I think it was about four or five years after that that they were divorced. So I, I experienced uh, what it's like to be uh, with both parents and then single parents. So. Um, I, too, am a product and very proud of the work that my mother and I did to raise me as a single parent child. <laughs> and Jesus. <laughs> no doubt about it. We know it. Queen had Jesus going on. The good Lord was involved, <laughs> hands all up in it. I mean, all up in it, you know. Uh, so listen, as we, you know, shift, one of the big things we talked about last week was health care. Yes. And, you know, uh, last week the Republicans celebrated a modest short victory in the respect that the health care bill that they proposed came out of the House. And as we know, Donald Trump loaded everybody up from Congress, the Republicans, and brought them over to the White House for beer and wine and had a party. Um, and I believe the Rose Garden had a press conference, big photo op, and, you know, to show people that, you know, we passed half the bill. Now, a lot of people don't recognize that, first and foremost, it has to come through the Senate. Um, there were a number of folks who actually said, who representatives of Congress who actually in the House who actually said they had not even read the bill, right, and still voted for it. Yes. So there's a lot that has to happen. But one of the you know key components that people were really in in strong support of, uh, including the fact that Obamacare covered 24 million people in America, was the fact that. Life health insurance would be afforded to children up until the age of 26 years old. That's correct. Um, which gave them coverage, you know, through college and allowed them to get a leg up before having to either not be on health care at all uh, or to pay for health care themselves, which is this extreme cost. So you got, just think, coming out of college, you have um, your life to start, so your own place to live. Then you have health insurance that you'd have to encumber. And then you have... Uh, car insurance and then you have bills and then you have rent rent and then you have life insurance mm -hmm. and um so you know I, and i said life insurance because we want to encourage you know our, our listening audience to be able to insure yourselves 
Don't make Facebook your family's way of raising money to take care of you. Help yourself and take care of yourself by, you know, having insurance in place. But um, we have our engineer uh, coming aboard, Mr. Miles Powell, in the house. He's a, a young man uh, still working through college and um, unexperienced in that. So he's rolling them off to us as we hear bills, uh, health insurance. I'm only speaking from Speaking from experience, the young man says. So I uh, look forward to, to seeing uh, the talented Miles Powell uh, in the studio with us. But so, you know, that's a big deal, Lady Karan, you know, to, to, to have uh, health insurance for uh, young, young adults uh, in America. And we know that's a, a preventive measure, so the best way to, to be able to reduce health care costs. So how, how, do you, how do you see us, you know, moving forward as we deal with this challenge? I mean, it's now it's going from the House to the Senate, mm -hmm. and the Senate will debate it, and they do not have the numbers that they have, the majority that they need uh, currently if it were just to go split on the votes. Um, there will be very few Democrats that will come over to the side on this current bill that they believe. Uh, so it's a long way from actually coming into repealing Obamacare. So I, I, was, I would say a couple things. Um, I just don't want us as a community to sleep on this um, movement as we did the presidential election. So I think a lot of, a lot of uh, individuals thought that, again, that uh, Hillary Clinton had it in the bag uh, and or we were discouraged. And there's actual caller calling in. So let's take this call. Good morning. Welcome, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Peace in the How Morning Show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Lamoria Stanton, calling from Maryland. Welcome. Oh, well, good morning, Miss uh, Lamoria Stanton. How are you doing this morning? Hi, Darius. How are you? A mother yourself, a mother after my own heart because you are a dynamic <laughs> mother. Um, a dynamic cupcake making mother. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> That's so more cupcakes. By the way, I'm waiting on my cupcake for my birthday. I had to throw that slide in. Um, so, so you calling in to welcome to peace in the morning? Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, on my day off. Oh, on your day off. Well, enjoy that. Mothers deserve a day off, and you sure do. Many days off. Yes. No doubt. No doubt. So. Tell us all about, you know, why would you, you calling to celebrate moms uh, or you calling us to talk about health care, uh, the, the Affordable Care Act and in, in the, in the Republican House repeal, working to repeal it? <coughs> calling to celebrate moms and the um, repealing the um, American, um, the Affordable Health Care Act. <coughs> Excuse me. No question. So in terms of celebrating moms, you know, and grandmoms, what does that mean to you? So we do you agree with what the Peace of the Morning show is doing instead of just having a one day celebration for Mother's Day that we celebrate moms all week long? Do you agree with that? I think we should celebrate moms all year long. Mm. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. Three hundred and sixty five days. Find some way to give thanks for her. You know, coincidentally, um, I was talking to a girlfriend of mine just recently and um, we were on the topic of single moms. I'm a single mom myself, and um, she doesn't have any kids, and she, we were both, you know, working, working women, and um, she just was saying, she was having a, a very hard day at work, and she was saying that she can imagine what the women would, I'm having a hard time talking to me because I'm hearing myself, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> As, as a matter of fact, do you mind if you if you can hear yourself? If there's something that you can turn down on your end, that would be helpful. Because yeah, maybe sure. it's, is your speaker is your speaker on? Okay, that's what it was. Next I'm still here. Anyway, I'm gonna try. But no, I'm saying in terms of what the women would do and who who work day to day in and day out, a single mom in particular, it's so it's it's so hard to to really find that balance. But we end up, we, we managed to do it anyway without thinking about it, you know, and we don't give it a, we never give it a second thought. We just get up and go. That's right. And at the end of the day, sometimes we want that hug. We want that, oh, yes. you did great. And, you know, but you're, you're doing it just for, you know, you're doing everything for your, for your kids. So um, I, I think mom should, like I said, should be recognized all year long because it's a it's a thankless job it's a thankless job we don't we don't you know we don't want any 
we're not looking for any um, any fanfare around it. But we, you know, sometimes we do want that hug and and you know that thank you for all that you do. So. And you are so, so right. Yeah, so I, I don't think it just should be relegated for one day. <laughs> However, I you know I am appreciative of being recognized for that one day. But yeah. And you're so right because and I I, I no longer have my mother here with me. As a, matter, her, as a matter of fact, her birthday is this Saturday. And um, okay. as you just said, that you know we don't look for anything in return, but we should still find ways to give love to our mothers and because we don't know when we are going to continue to have them. So we need to appreciate right. them while they're here. And the old saying from the churches, uh, give a person their flowers while they yet live. And so we should mm -hmm. be embracing our mothers while they're here with us. And we're going to talk Absolutely. about that, some ways to do that, so that you, to make sure that you're also honored uh, this weekend and this whole week. Yeah, we actually, um, we had a few uh, <coughs> close friends that lost moms recently. And so I'm sure that, you know, is, is, is quite a bit of challenge. But um, the, the greatest gift that you can give moms is to love them yes. and respect them, yes. cherish them, and, uh, you know, while they're living. Uh, so yeah. that you do not have to make have any regrets Absolutely. with regards. So bury the hatchet, you know. Uh, you yeah. got a challenge with your mom. You know, you, you things didn't go right. It's your only mom, you know. And remember, moms are people too. And people parent based on their frame of reference. Yes. So yes. as parents, we're not perfect by no stretch of the imagination. Right. Uh, you just heard Lemoya talk about uh, how difficult it is for single moms and it's difficult for married moms as well. You know, yes, uh, absolutely. A lot of responsibility, a lot of burden uh, that falls depending upon who, what, what level of balance is in the relationship. That's right. And so um, there are a lot of moms who stay uh, in relationships just based on the children. Yep, Wanting absolutely. to maintain and they grin and bear it, you know, and they take that, you know, to bid with them uh, and wake <laughs> up with it. And so, you know, moms deserve all the credit in the world. Uh, so real quick, we're going to shift to the affordable care piece. So how do you, you know, see Congress, you know, in terms of moving this, this bill throughout the House and folks voting, you know, potentially or just basically on along party lines? How do you see this shaking out? What do you suggest that moms can do? Uh, you know, we're action driven here. We want to make sure people walk away with something. What do you Absolutely. suggest moms can do uh, to well, address this issue and have their voices heard? My first thought. Darius, and I'm sorry, I didn't get your, your uh, Lady Caron, the, the incomparable Lady Caron. Good morning. Lady Caron. Yes. My first thought, Darius and Lady Caron, is to get the grassroots effort. We got to get out and we have to vote locally. You know, every, all the choices, are, all the decisions, I'm sorry, are being made up on Capitol Hill. And they're going to affect my daughter, who's now 11 years old. Not so much me right now, but. Everything that's happening right now is going to is going to directly impact the coming generation. So we have really got to get out and put pressure on our congressmen and make sure that they are representing us. The 2018 midterm election, we're not hearing much about it, but it's so important that people get out and vote in the midterm election. Don't just relegate voting to the, the, the general election. Excuse me, the general presidential election, I'm sorry. Absolutely. But those midterm elections, so yes. everyone that's in the House and the Senate, Yes. We, I, I can't stress that enough. We have got to get out and vote. And then, and you, there you said, in terms of moms, the decisions right now uh, that, well, I'm sorry, the makeup of the, um, of the House version that's going over to the Senate, the way it's impacting women, it's unbelievable. Uh, There's no impact. Say that again. Say. And we have not, uh, we really haven't really done a good job of really talking about how women and females are really being impacted. Um, that's, yeah. you, you, you hit the nail on the, the head, the nail on the head, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for calling. You know, you uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, we also know in the baking, the spirit of celebrating and supporting moms, you want to give us, I know you're a, a cupcake baker, you want to share. Your, your, your cupcakes, uh, the name of your, your cupcake business with us, please? That's right. That's some Mori Cupcake. That's some Mori Cupcake. <laughs> you can find us at Mori, M-O-R-I-E, Cupcakes.com. M-O-R-I-E, Cupcakes.com. Well, and, thanks so much for... And I love vanilla. 
You heard that. <laughs> so make sure we get some cupcakes to share you'll to probably, share with our, our audience here at Eat Like Me. You'll probably get some before he will. I love you. See, the women have to get together. Yes. Absolutely. Love well, you, Darius. thanks for having me. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again, and happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Week. Thank you. Are you a mother? Are you a mother as well? Yes, ma'am, I am. Happy Mother's Day, and Thank enjoy. Thank you, dear. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. You too. All right, so if you want to give us a call, you can reach us at 240-455-5934. That's 240-455-5934. Uh, we're going to get ready to go to another song, but before we do so, uh, Lady Karan, one of the things that I thought was very interesting when they talked about the House bill currently uh, passing the House and going over to the Senate, the Senate committee that's working on the health care repeal for the Republicans are all males. <laughs> and white males to be uh, thank you very much for pointing it they're all white males you yes. know um, in a country that is very diverse and so yes. you know that's something to be concerned about because you want to make sure that everybody's interest is represented absolutely and it, it wouldn't be right if it was all black males it wouldn't be right if it was all white females it wouldn't right. be right if it was all Indian all of anybody America is not just one color it's not just one sex and so as a result of that I think it's very interesting and very telling uh, that the Republican committee on the Senate that's working on the health care re repeal bill um, would be all white males and that they still have not got it. But the question is, have you got it out there in the electorate? Have you picked up the message that they are sending to you as a result of what they're doing? So we're going to get ready to go to our next song uh, by Queen I and Bay, my mom, and uh, celebrate right now Mom's Week. So come back to us shortly. Check us out. Listen in here at peace in the morning. Take it away, Mom. Queen, Ayasuda Bay. Love not.
All right, that was Queen Ayasudebe, my mom. We got we focusing on her music this week because it is Mother's Week. Not just Mother's Day, Lady Karan, but Mother's Week here on Peace in the Morning Show. And, uh, you know, Love Not War, the last words I heard out of those lyrics that she recorded in Kingston, Jamaica. Anybody been to Jamaica know that Kingston, Kingston, Kingston. is a, a, a very, very rough place. Talking about it not being easy. Uh, but not parenting is not easy. And it's definitely for moms, you know, you, you think about what mothers go through. Um, it's not an easy task, is it? Nope, it's not. It's what, are not some, e- what are some of the challenges that people really don't think about when it comes to mothers, Lady Karan? Um, I think that people take for granted, especially mothers who have sons, specifically, mm. um, since I was a single mothers mother. Mothers that have sons, specifically. Okay, yes. keep, keep on. Because um, we need people who step up to the table, especially when we're raising young men, mm-hmm. to actually... Uh, help us to help mm-hmm. mentor to be a positive influence because mm-hmm. uh, I can tell my son you know how to wash how to you know cook and do those basic things but there t- it requires a man to pour back into that into that young man right. uh, t- on how to become how to be a man what does he need to do I mean what whatever some things would be that a man would tell another young man to do to rear him and to mow him to being the best gentleman he can be so that would be one thing um, the fact that we just as the caller said earlier when she called in, is that we are often neglected when we are always pouring out and doing for other people. So we need people to say thank you. Um, not that we need those accolades, but just appreciate us for who we are and all that we give. And you talked about moms who are, who are married. Um, so you have a, ma- a mother, and then you have a wife, and then you have the cook. You have someone who's helping with homework. You have someone that's you know doing the laundry, doing the house chores. I mean, just appreciate the woman that's in your life. It was interesting when she said thankless job. Yes, it is. Because it doesn't require us to, because we're born, we are nurturers. Right. So it doesn't require us to really put a lot of thought into giving back. That's who we are. So that's what we do. Right. Uh, so it's, it doesn't require a lot of mental energy. We just do what we do. And uh, going back to what we talked about last week, you know, that we lose sight of ba- life balance. And that's what happens because it is a thoughtless job and we don't really need thank yous. Um, we often lose ourselves and we lose uh, the need to care for ourselves, caring for so many other people. And, you know, when you talk about another challenge um, tied back to the healthcare care component uh, is the issue of uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Oh, so when we talk about this new uh, Trump care is what they're coining it as now, um, just to debunk the Affordable Care Act, the ACA, or even Obamacare, um, we... In this new Trump Act, us as women, we are totally pretty much sketched out. Mm. Um, A shout out and my heart goes out to Planned Parenthood, who's losing uh, funding and the women who go to their place or facilities for so many needs. You mentioned health care, mental health. Uh, That's another piece and component that's been sort of written out and um, it's been sort of uh, overlooked. And the, all of us, whether we want to admit it or not, all of us face and deal with mental health is- issues. Oh, without question. Uh, without question. Something as simple as that we take for granted as a community and we stigmatize, and that is depression. So we take that for granted, which is going to be affected. So this, this um, Trump care is serious business, and I want us to really take it seriously. So with that being said, before um, our break, we talked about what can people begin to do next around this uh, Trump care uh, bill or this the, the fact it was passed in the House. Um, and I personally don't think it's going to be short-lived. I think, again, that's where I was going earlier before the caller. Um, I think we are we take so many things for granted. And again, hence, we took the, 20, uh, the last election for granted. And I think now we're taking this for granted. It's not going to be short-lived. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope it doesn't pass, but it's probably going to pass. But you have power. And I always say this to people when I, when I go around and speak. We as a community, we have power, and I encourage you to uh, execute your power. And how can you do that? Um, so hold your legislators and your senators accountable. All those people who voted, um, you know, make sure you're mindful of who you vote for in this upcoming election, uh, f- uh, for your representatives and your legislators. But right now, what you can do, you can call your senators and vote and re- ask them to repeal uh, this, uh, this new bill. And you can call them at 202 224 3121. That's 202-224-3121. And if you don't, if you may not be able to call, but you prefer to email, you can email them at 
Senator, Senate, excuse me, Senate.gov, S-E-N-A-T.gov. You have power, exercise the power that you have so we can really begin to take back over things that are impacting us. Because at the end of the day, this new health care is not going to negatively impact people who have money. It's not going to impact the wealthy. It's going to impact us who are hardworking citizens of the U.S. I, I love the fact that you shared that information. We, you know, we here at Peace in the Morning Show, we want to be action driven. Yes. Uh, asset based and solution oriented. And so, would you mind giving that number that they can call again? Absolutely. Please? So, call your senators 202 224 3121. That's 202 224 3121. And go to www.senate.gov. Find out who your senator is on that website and reach out to them. Call them. If they're closed, go visit them. Do Hold them accountable is what you want to do at the end of the day because you hold the power. Those individuals are in office because of you, not because of anything else. That's right. And on Friday, we had a call, Ms. Rose from uh, Colorado, and Ms. Rose was very clear. Shout out, Ms. Rose. Ms. Rose was very clear. She said, we got to get involved. We cannot yes. just sit back and allow. We have to hold our elected officials accountable. Absolutely. And so you can go to their district offices, even though they may be in D.C. If you're not in D.C. and Maryland, you can go to the district office and give them, speak to their representative directly uh, so you can make sure that your voices are being heard. So we're, we're excited about the fact that people are starting, you know, the Women's March was a big deal. It was it the was. largest convening of women on Capitol Hill in it the was. history of the United States. I was very excited and proud for women. A litany of issues that they brought to the table, but the mere fact that women stood up. Yes. Uh, and another example of women standing up was um, the firing of Bill O'Reilly on Fox News. Yes. Uh, as a result of the corporations who started to pull out. And so it just goes to show when you put your energy and your money, you know, people like to march and they like to rally, and those things have uh, have their place and are important. But it must the, the the real work and the real action is in follow up. And I also want to encourage people: um, let's be proactive and not reactive. Come so on. making this phone call, finding out who your senator is, and reaching out to your senator is being proactive because we can march all day. That's great. We can react once uh, history has already been made. But let's create history in advance so that we are positively impacted by the outcomes of whatever that history looks like. So, Lady Karan, what can we do to celebrate moms? I oh, mean, what, gosh, moms. What, you know, how can mom, what can we do all week long? You know, we're going to give tips out every day to allow you. So, I mean, just think if moms will start to get gifts today. Not Sunday, but all week long, you giving your gifts Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What are some of the things that you would love to see just from your, from your son, you know, this week? So, um, as I throw my son under the bus, my mm -hmm. son uh, always forgets Mother's Day. He, he'll <laughs> send me a text at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Love you, son. Uh, but, you know, it begins with the bare minimum. So, mm -hmm. I, I recognize and we recognize that, you know, times are hard for a lot of us right now financially. So, we may not have those resources and funds to do extravagant things. So, you know what you can do? Call your mom and just say, I love you. Say, thank you for bringing me into this world. Say, thank you for raising me. Thank you for putting shelter over my head and food on the table. Just say, thank you. Uh, and I appreciate you. Hug your mom. And um, then, you know, there's a card. Cards are like $2.99, uh, $5, whatever. At the most. At, yeah, so send a card. Take out the time to, like, drop a card off or put it in the mail. Like, just invest time because when you really – uh, do something and you're intentional about it, it really speaks volumes. So just say thank you and show how you are grateful and how you're thankful by giving a card, by giving a rose, or by giving a wonderful cupcake, or by taking her to dinner. And we'll, we'll give some more ideas throughout the week, but that's just, those, those are just a few. Just to start today to say, hey, Mom, I want to celebrate you starting today. And just say thank you. And as you said also, for those people who may have um, – some challenges with their mothers. You know, finding ways to push past hurt, push past pain, and just say thank you while she's here on earth today. And shout out to all the moms again. That's right. While we have an opportunity to give people the roses while they're living, you know, let's make sure that we celebrate them, we exalt them, uh, and we show love. You know, I think that is one of the greatest things that, that we can do is really extend and show love and how important that is uh, for our families. And so we're going to, you know, take a, a, another song before we uh, close out. 
And uh, as we get ready for that, uh, another song by Queen I Sue Bay, my mom. Shout out to um, Queen. You've got the love. Uh, but, you know, as we go to that song, I just want us to think about, take a moment, you know, for all of those who have been through trials and tribulations, think about the first thing you scream, you know, after God. Mama. Mom. Yep, mom. Mama. Yep. You know, the how big the man is, no matter how tough or rugged or whatever term you want to use, thuggish or whatever, you know, no matter how big it is, you know, how big we are, you know, one of the first things we cry out and scream it's is mom. mom. Absolutely. And, and I want to say, when we say mom to everybody, mom is grandmother, stepmothers, mother-in-law, surrogate mothers. I mean, mothers is a... a Auntie. That's right. Auntie. Right? Whoever oh, stepped God. into that role. Right. And took over and helped you at that moment, you know. And there's so many people who... You know, shared and shown me love uh, that has been mothers to me. You know, Miss, my best friend's uh, mom, Miss Sharon, uh, Terry, Miss Sharon Mako. You know, just there for me in times when my mother was in Trinidad. I was growing up, oh, wow. a young, young man. You know, she gave me some real good advice. You know, I had a real tough situation, real challenge going on. Uh, when my children were being born, and she said, I said, oh, Miss Sharon, you know what I'm going to do? I'm 21. She said, you know what you're going to do? You're going to be a man and take care of your responsibility. All right. Simple as that. And that was Held it. Held you accountable. I, and I sat up in the chair, got my thing together, went on to work, and been, you know, thank God doing that ever since. So um, we're going to get ready to go to that song right now. Um, You've Got the Love by Queen Ayasuda Bay. Check it out right here on Peace in the Morning. Bye. 
All right. That was Queen Ayasudabe. You've got the love with the Earth Blessings Royal Court Orchestra. You can pick her up on SoundCloud. And uh, definitely, that's a really hot jam. You've got the love. We've got the love. He's got the love. She's got the love. You've got the love. Queen is phenomenal. Is she doing it this She's morning? She's doing it. Is she rocking I'm Eli? Her. Yes. Is she rocking Eli Media? Yes, that? she is. No doubt. Give us a call at 240-455-5934 if you want to make any more shout outs to your mom, your grandmom, uh, any mom that really has done something for you in your life. You know, we want to hear from you. Um, thank you so much, Queen I Sue Bay, for that talented uh, music uh, selection. You've got the love. Mm. I feel that love, too. You know, I mean, that's what it's all about. We need that love. You know, that's, the, that's where it begins. And there's nothing like, you know, a mother's love. And uh, there's so many folks, you know, that, that kind of, you know, we take our moms, can take our moms for granted. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we want to really reverse that and uh, really put us in a better position so that we are constantly uplifting, you know, our moms. And then you have some who not only take their moms for granted, but then disrespect their moms, mm. you know, and talk to them uh, in a manner that nobody should be talked to, let alone your mother. Right. You know, so just as, and remember, people watch how we do things, and there are children who watch their mothers disrespect their grandmothers. Yes. And then they expect their children to turn around and respect them. Yes. But once you model that behavior in front of your child, it's very difficult because children pick that behavior up. Unfortunately. And so we want you to make sure that you focus on um, loving and, and showing that love to your mom all week long. All week long. No doubt. Starting so, today. Starting, starting now. Starting now. Right here live. Peace in the morning. Put the phone down. Call your mom and let her know, Mom, I love you. I appreciate you. Give her that big hug and kiss. Uh, and my tip to mom, I mean, to, to folks is write your mom a letter, you know, and uh, tell her about all the wonderful things that she's done for you and why you are the way you are and the things that she added value, mm -hmm. you know, to your, li to your life. Uh, but, you know, write a letter. So day one for me, I'm going to put it out there on Monday, Mother's Week. Mother's Week. Write awesome. mom. That's right. Write, write mom a letter. So um, we just to wrap up, Lady Karan, uh, any Part and thoughts you want to share with with the peace in the morning audience uh, before we before we roll out. I just want to say um, continue to first of all reach out to your senators today. Make sure you visit the website so you know your senators are first and foremost. Hold them accountable. Uh, I want to say to uh, our listeners continue to follow to listen to us weekly. Excuse me, daily and weekly from nine to ten. And I want you to walk uh, today. Uh, I woke up early this morning and uh, just began to meditate and to focus on uh, the Word of God. And I just want to encourage uh, you to um, continue to seek purpose uh, based on the passion in your life and continue to walk in the best that you have to give, not just um, for those that you are imparting into, but that you may be the best that you are. You are. And uh, love yourself. Uh, take some time to pour back into you as much as you pour back into others. And um, we hope that in all that you do, in loving yourself and loving others, that you find peace and serenity and some centeredness uh, in that throughout today until we talk to you tomorrow. That's right. Thank you so much from the incomparable Lady Karan. That's right. She was out there live on Facebook, live and uh, sending out to all of her fans and all the people who love and follow Our her. fans. Our fans. Our That's followers. Right. Yes. We are together. Yes. We are one. Together, we are one at Peace in the Morning Show. We also want to thank um, Doreen Williams, our producer. Shout out, Doreen. Uh, who just made a big transition all the way down to North Kakalaki, although she's on North Water Water. South Carolina. Oh, she went to South Carolina. Myrtle was, Beach. Yes. That's right. She we're, sure we're did. We're going to be going. That's right. We will be live. Beach. Peace of the morning will be live on the beach <laughs> from Myrtle Beach. So look out for that this summer when you can catch Peace in the Morning. Yes. You come on down and join us. We're going to make a package deal. <laughs> yes. You know, I heard a trip going out to... Um, Going to was it Cuba? Yeah, going to Cuba. I said, "Oh, we, we ready to take get on the road." We better do it soon, that's, then. <laughs> that's right. So, peace in the morning. You know, enjoy yourselves. And um, we also want to thank our station manager, 
Uh, Rolling, Shout out, Roland. Roland Bubba Grimes. And make sure that you come out this Saturday. Great Mother's Day treat. Great oh, Mother's wow. Day treat. It's going to treat. It's going to be the Roland Grimes show live. Live. In the studio. All the E-Life Media personalities will be there. Uh, myself, Lady Karan's going to be on the road, so she's not going to be able to join us. But we're going to represent for you, Lady Karan. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm tune in. Okay, all right. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to be down at uh, the Indian Head uh, Theater down in Fort Washington, Maryland. So come on down and check out the um, Rolling Grimes show live. We have a live uh, band on stage, you know, the whole Arsenio Hall movement. But instead, it's 2017. We're rolling Bubba Grimes. Rolling. So tickets are only $25. <laughs> You know, get your tickets, call the studio 240-455-5934, 240-455-5934. You can also inbox Roland at Roland Grimes on Facebook yes. uh, or Instagram and make sure that you, you know, come on out and support live media. We're pushing everlasting. We're pushing life. Yes. We're pushing love. And supporting one another. And we're supporting one another. You know, I was in a um, very interesting piece. I was in Connecticut. Uh, actually coming from Connecticut, stopped in Teaneck, New Jersey. Hmm. And I was going into a, a vegetarian restaurant, and there was a plaque. There, it wasn't a plaque. It was a certificate from the state of New Jersey. And what the plaque, the, the certificate read, it was a r rabbinical certificate. And basically, it had a few different lines, who the store owner was, the name of the store, and then it was three boxes and it said, how many times does a rabbi visit this store a week? And it was either three, five, or nine. And the box was checked three to let you know that this is a Jewish establishment. Now, and it was a state-issued state, state issue certificate. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a, you know, it's just a piece of advice. Support the people that support you. Feed your families. You know, and so we're asking you to support the Rolling Grimes show because Rolling Grimes is putting out a lot of content here in Prince George's County yes. uh, all over the world. He's got folks that follow him from all over the world. His show's been out there for five years, big following, doing a lot of great work, and we need to support those who are supporting us and giving us vehicles to reach out to our community and push positive content and not that boogity, 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 <laughs> whack. Uh, stuff that you see on a regular basis. So make sure you come out this weekend and support the Rolling Grimes show Grimes. live at Indian Head Theater. Tickets to $25 be an awesome Mother's Day present. Here's some great jazz by Greg mm. Boyer live. Meet some phenomenal opportunities uh, through in terms of I'm entrepreneurs. Yeah. All kinds of people are going to be there. It's going to be a hot show. Rolling is going to be thrown down. You know, uh, yours truly will be there to support this effort. So make sure you come out this coming Saturday. Uh, I believe that is May 13th. 13th. That's right. At 4 p.m. at the Indian Head Theater. Uh, come on out. Come get your tickets here at elifemedia.net, which is an everlasting life uh, restaurant and studios right here in Capitol Hill, Maryland. Shout out. Um, right down the street from, for those of you who are big fans of FedEx Field, uh, which, of course, <laughs> we live in Maryland and we root for the Ravens, but nevertheless. Uh, so listen, for Peace in the Morning, commentary from Mr. Peace and Love today is really focused on being able to celebrate moms every chance you get. You know, we are in a time, we live in a time where things go so fast. Yes. And we can lose opportunities to celebrate and tomorrow is not promised to you. Nope. So while you have today, I just want to encourage you to reach out to your mom. Let her know that you love her. Whoever that significant mom is in your life, whether it's your mom, your wife, your, the mother of your children, um, you know, your good friends, reach out to those mothers. You know, let them know that you love them. Let them know that you care about them. Whatever's going on that may not have set well or you all haven't been dealing with each other, bury it. Bury it. Because when that day comes when the physical f person is no longer with us and the only thing left is the spirit, you want to make sure that that spirit is united and your heart is at peace. You want to make sure that your heart is clear. But it's not just about your conscience. It's not just about you feeling bad. It's about lifting people up right now. We all need to be lifted. We all need to be gifted. But we have had the, all have the same gift, and that's the gift of being born by a mother. Yes. And so while you have that opportunity, let your mother know that you love her, you care about her, 
and that she means the world to you because without her, there is no us. Mm. I'm your host, Darius A. Stanton, with the incomparable Lady Karan. Daryl Barnes is not able to join us today, but we'll be back with us tomorrow. And also, the queen will be on the scene, if you know what I mean. So as we roll out with peace in the morning, check out a little more. She's got the love and another special musical treat. Peace and love.
really hard and so much of that crabs in a barrel. I mean, it, it is alive now, and well. Now, for those people that are not from this area, you have to explain crabs in a barrel. Well, okay, if you have a bushel of crabs. There's different versions of them. They're all trying to get out. And every Ryan's time one, up, every time one gets to the top, all the rest of the crabs at the bottom pull them back down. Um, you know, it's, it's a very, very complex thing. It's like, it's like a soup with a lot of different ingredients. And so it, what I don't like is when people outside of our community try to analyze the, these folks and, and um, saddle them with labels. I can fight, I can play ball, all that stuff, but I ain't caring about that stuff, man. Those guys got together and got, hey man, you gonna come with us, man? No, I'm going home, man. I'm going